The Ukrainian military faces Russian aggression in the Grain Corridor Zone on a daily basis, The Times writes. The media managed to talk to representatives of the Ukrainian Naval Forces Control Center in the fight and learned some details about how cargo ships and infrastructure are protected against the corridor that is about 130 kilometers long and 200 meters wide. The commander of the Varan Division told the publication about a warning regarding a mine that was just a few meters from the pier which would have caused a large explosion. We had little time. As soon as the waves started pushing the mine towards the pier, it would have exploded. We couldn't let it explode in the port. It was unsafe, but we had to get closer to try to tow it away, he said. As the media describes, once the cargo ships leave Ukrainian waters, they must keep to the coasts controlled by NATO countries, pass through the Bosphorus into the Sea of Marmara, and then end up in the Mediterranean. Journalists report that in order for the grain ships to enter the corridor, they form a convoy, and then the Ukrainian fleet provides them with an escort. The Ukrainian crews, mostly men who once served alongside the Russian sailors, only occasionally speak to the media to ensure that their relatives in the occupied territories are not in danger, the newspaper says. According to the Times, Russian occupiers recently struck a cargo ship in Romanian maritime territory as it was heading to Egypt from Chornomorsk. Last year, they detained a Turkish ship. The helicopter landed. Everyone was searched and released. It was a show of force. They constantly threaten on the radio. We will shoot you now. They do this every day, said Ukrainian Navy spokesman Dmitro Pletenchuk. Experts noted that the Russians mainly use Iranian drones and mines, as well as Lancet drones, to attack infrastructure associated with the Grain Corridor. Varun recalled how they had only a few minutes to prevent a catastrophe when one of the sea mines was too close to the port. According to him, one of the divers jumped overboard, swam to the mine and came face to face with it to carefully attach a tow rope to it. The diver has to hold it carefully in his hands, find a place to tie the rope. They are always in mortal danger. It's just terrible. We had to slowly pull it five miles from the port. It took an hour. We brought it out into clear water. The diver went back down, untied the rope, set the fuse and came back on board. As soon as the ship sailed to a safe distance, there was a beautiful explosion, Varan said.
прямым попаданием. Это оно так взрывается?